Right, 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 right. Jacob Javis Center. Right, 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 right. Let's go in. Jacob Javis Center. Let's keep rolling and see what we see. Hello. Let's see what we gotta see first. Let's let's go around and then I'll come back. Let's do a quick run of the whole floor. I'm gonna go through the floor and then come back.
Yeah, everybody see it? yesterday um, from what is very humble beginnings. See what I see? Humble beginnings. You have no idea. And uh, build to sort of what we had and what we have today with the hopes that it's something that is useful to you folks in your professional lives. We completely understand that no one is going to go and produce uh, you know, a film you know, like we do a project like we do, nor should anyone do that. Really, highly unrecommended. Oh no, absolutely, it's illegal in a number of centuries. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. But, um, but then hopefully there's something that we do in our process that helps you guys, be it you know setting up a camera that you just bought or you know setting up a crew worth of uh, worth of cameras or just in your own uh, research trying to figure out better ways of differentiating uh, one thing from another. So. Um, as I said, to talk about format, so yeah. this is very much going to be hopefully interactive. Now we have a ton of slides to cover. That being said, I don't want to wait for a QA at the very end because when I used to have time to speak, I used to do bugger. Maybe listen to emails and stuff
Paul Ross for LD work here? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm scared. Okay. Um, sorry, let me just, uh, this is not right. Yeah, I was saying, um, is this Nikon on the phone? Nikon? I don't see Nikon on the box. Yeah. And my friend asked me, okay, you know, I'm a Canon guy, but he's a Nikon, so he wanted to ask. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't see it in the book. So, uh, huh? Oh, yeah, I didn't see it in the book. That's the thing. But that's what I told him. He just can't believe it. Did I drop it? Oh, yeah, I see Canon, which I'm so. Oh, I see Panasonic too, which is my big cameras in the back there. I went and check it, but um, I didn't see Panasonic. I didn't see. I didn't see it. I didn't see um, Nikon. I didn't see it. Oh, sorry, let me go back to it. Yeah, I ain't seen Nikon there, right? Unless they're under some kind of... It's surprising. You know, yeah. Okay. All right then, thank you. Hello. Hi, how's it going? All right, I'm just doing some. I'm not live. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, question. Yeah. I, I remember had a time, right? I could go in the jungle. Everywhere I turn on Wi-Fi, I just see net gear. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, I don't see that much. I'm talking about literally. Everywhere you go, I put on the Wi-Fi, you see a net gear icon. Is this the same company? Uh, yes. So we do Wi-Fi. We have okay. Access points, routers. Yeah. You know, that's one of our solutions. And then also we do switches for the Pro oh, AV okay. space. So the reason why I used to see it is because companies used to use it so much. Because I'm talking about everywhere you used to see it in the wi when you turn on the Wi Fi. We sell you billions see of access points. So okay. um, spaces like this might have Netgear access points. Oh, so that's um, why. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it's all over the world. So uh, okay. yeah, no matter everywhere. where you're at, there's a possibility. There's, there's a lot of different oh, people yes, that yes, do yes, it. Yes, so yes. Cisco does it, Aruba does it, we do it. Um, there's ubiquity, so there's a number of people. It's not always Netgear, but we do sell uh, a large amount of access. Okay, points. because usually, um, when like when the Wi-Fi, the reason I ask, usually Wi-Fi, every location have their own name. But why they used to keep the Netgear? You don't What's the to. difference? You, 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 that's just whoever set it up. Okay, you okay. could change that to Javits Center, you know, okay, or okay. like your home network. You know how you okay, can have your own yeah, specific yeah. name on it. That's just user preference. Okay, the user um, preference. So okay, we don't, we don't own it. <laughs> You know, somebody just didn't set up. It's called the SSID. Yeah. They can change the SSID oh. um, to whatever they want. Like if I'm on my phone right now, yeah. I'm sure I'll get a massive amount of, yeah. you know, Wi-Fi availability. So, I mean, 
Oh, yeah. These are the SSIDs. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you can make it anything that you want. Yeah, go so back. It's not, it's not Netgear specific. Yeah, like 10, 15 years ago, every time I go there, I used to see Netgear. Hey, look. Here's oh, yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, that's it. it's six. Like, it was like a star they just, everywhere. They just decided not oh, to change it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I see, I see. So. I'm talking about the requirement. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, have a good one. All right. Netgear. Okay, so we're going to go by, going to go all the way to, back and forth, and then we're going to go to Panasonic. Because Panasonic is my camera. Then I check Panasonic and B&H, and then figure out what we're doing. All right, man. Not too bad. Oh, not too bad. I'm just trying to go all the way through, and then I'm gonna stop later. So you guys make lens over here? What? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 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 I do public television, so that's I I do I produce on two shows on public television. So I do. We usually do the talking head thing with three cameras. In the studio like that, but in the field most of the time it's one. In the studio is a, is a tree talking head set up, you know, the wide shot, the two close up. That's how I shot, shoot every week. Based in Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, so, so pretty much you, you like, um, okay, when you said it's set up, you like um, provide the equipment? Your company uh, provides the equipment? We do sales, we do rentals, okay, okay, we do okay. service, okay. We do okay. immigration, okay. stuff like that. So okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. We want you to actually test this oh. before it's available. And that robot, is it like pre pre programmed? Like, like is it it's running on a script to move? It can be, yeah, it can run on a cycle or you yeah. can control it manually. Okay, so you can kind of like write exactly, um, like program the movements you want and then just let it go. Something like the robot in the studio. I know like in the studio you can preset the angles, like you preset it. You know those robot camera you can preset 
the different thing is it the same thing with this sliding? You can preset it. And Mark Roberts Motion Control, MRMC. Oh, okay. And they do some of the simple stuff. They also do like those robotic things. Yeah. The arms that swing all around and stuff like that. Okay. And they have software that lets you basically either you define the path that you want the camera to take, and you can uh, either have it trigger automatically or in sync with something else that's going on. Oh. So if you ever see those commercials, like yeah. you know, like the wine's pouring into the glass and it's splashing up and stuff like that, because they have a robot turning the, the wine bottle into the glass at that exact time. Oh. It's like frame rate support. Like you ever seen these things like where someone's shooting a bullet through yeah. uh, a light bulb? It's done, you know, there's like a, an optical trigger, so when the bullet passes through, it triggers the motion of the robot. Oh, okay, okay. Capture from the camera. Okay, okay. I thought that was CGI. I thought, okay, I see. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hello. As you are drawn to this by internet memes, understand the differences in high critical environments and why you have to carry a bigger body or a heavier camera, etc. Now the other thing I think that's super important well, that we What I'm going to do is just come true. I know that a lot of times don't have a new cameras There's a lot of things here. I'm not going to try to go through everything. Usually when I come to the Java Center, I just pick a couple locations and just go through. But I think I'm going to just do a roll through this time, since I'm doing the roll through. And just randomly talk to a few people who I can talk to. But I may do some interviews later, I'm not sure yet. I'm just scoping out everything. I'm scoping it out. So I was here, I came up, but I'm going to go back on the second lane. I've seen a lot of rug. I need to turn to the sides a little. Yeah. I don't have the time.
Okay, so, so then, so now. So right now, I'm in the middle of. Uh, you guys are going to be part of uh, the See, it's very difficult to do this in real time, but I'm doing it for you guys. So you guys can see what I see, because this is actually taking up time. It's actually taking up some of my time. Do you do the wireless here? We do wireless video. That's our specialty. Oh, okay. It was some production similar, but um, a lot of it will be wired. Oh, yeah. If you wanted to do get one of those wireless, yeah. that's what our specialty is. Oh. We're the only company in this place that can do true zero delay wireless. Video. We have a patent on that. We have a patent on that. Can I have you guys pat? I'm going to come back. Yeah, of course. Can I have you Yeah, I put my camera in the back there. There oh. you go. So oh. this is the this is the product I was just talking about, so oh, yes. the Ranger. And specifically, I think I'm not live. I'm just running this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No All right. Yeah. I'm thinking the Ranger Micro. I'm just taking a look at the your camera setup yeah. right here. The transmitter is really small. Oh, yeah, the the transmitter is four K every day. Yeah. We do full 4K. So this is the transmitter. Yeah. The receiver is a little bit bigger than this, but you could come in 4K over HDMI. Yeah. This is 1080p 60. Oh. But uh, if you want to send 4K video, you can do it. With the oh, okay. Because yeah. um, but when we do the team, we have the others, but you know we have to lower the frequency, lower the um, the rate, bit rate, and all this thing yeah. to make it work. Okay. Yeah, we don't do any encode. We're not going to encode the signal. We send okay. full uncompressed video, so it's, yeah. you can match it up with a wired camera, and they'll be perfectly in sync. Okay, thank you. Where you guys based? California. Oh, okay. Yeah, we manufacture all this in California. Yeah. Here's our, here's our thank you. Guy. I'm trying to come back. I'm glad to come back and do a little interview with you, but I just need to run through still. Come on. Through. All right. We'll thank be. you. We do public television in Brooklyn. All right. All right. Not too bad. Thank you. So that was there. Let's go by the BNH guy. Should I walk with you in real time? The time is going. I have things to do. Unfortunately, I was a little disappointed because I thought everything was starting. I think we would have been able to come in 7:30, but it wasn't a 7:30 shoot as it they advertised to be. So at the end of the day. I just had to work with what the time. Still trying to get through everything, every lane. I'm doing this solely for you guys. Thank you.
So just look around and see. How are you doing? All right, not too bad. Thank you. Guys, manufacture tripods? Yeah, we do tripods. Oh, okay. I'm looking there. I've been using Manfredo since '93, but yeah. um, I, I probably should try something else because yeah, I stuck with it. Depending on you know what yeah. your camera weight is and your yeah. budget and everything, yeah. they yeah. make some good stuff. Oh, good, good. What, what kind of the, shooting the do you do? Well, television production. We do public television, so um, I'm we're always shooting in the field all the time. But it's like a little bit of post studio and in the field. Oh, what kind of camera? But I had a DVX 200. Okay. Right. I should pull out my camera and keep it on me. Okay. So yeah, something like that takes. Yeah. You know, oh, that's I cool. No camera. Okay. It's like a focus eight over here. Yeah. It goes basically from zero to about 18 pounds. Yeah. And it gives you great balance all the way through. Yeah. That's kind of the direction. Yeah, right. Let me see. I'll just drop. Thank you. There you go. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, right here. Yeah, I dropped my cap. So it give me give you um the weight balance. I, I see um, yeah because my, I have like four of these but different weights. So for for height of tripods I mean but like different weights. I'm sorry? No, I see I have five five I've, tripods I've, I've, but different for different yeah. weights of cameras. What but cameras weigh what range? Yeah. So camera weigh like from ten down to down. Yeah. Ten so down. So basically ten pounds what down. Eight is, that will take all those cameras. Oh, okay. okay. Anything from zero to 17 pounds, yeah. the Focus 8 works with it. Oh, okay. So, like your little DSLR there, yeah. your, you know, your Canon. Yeah, your kind Canon of, yeah. Your would balance on that. Your, um... DVX, kind of yeah. 200. Yeah, 200, yeah. Yeah, this guy. Oh, okay. This guy. That, that one would too. Yep. Can I just feel the head a little? Yeah. Are we balanced? I just feel the like head all like it. Because you know it's all about the um, swivel. Oh, smooth. Oh, yeah, really smooth. Sure. The head has a five year warranty. Oh, yeah. There's five year warranty on head, one year on tripods. Yeah, because I, tripods. I like the butter. Because I do all, we do all the fashion week stuff. And yeah, really good with butter. <laughs> Definitely, I'll consider. Huh? I'll consider you guys when I replacing yeah. my tripod. Manfrotto? Yeah, Manfrotto. I've, I've been doing Manfrotto and some generic for, for like maybe three. I'm doing literally been shooting with Manfrotto. Just all you do is keep changing the heads. Yeah. Because you know with Manfrotto, the heads do deteriorate in the Manfrotto because of the. You know, some of them is like because of this. Yeah. Buy it once. Definitely. Can I have a card for you guys? Yeah. I will pa pass back a little later. Is that like a brochure? Oh yeah. Thank you. Gus's card. Oh, okay. That's Gus right there. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We shoot every week. We, we Our show comes on every Friday. On, where, where are you guys based? Um, he's out in New Jersey. Oh, okay. Our main office is in North Hollywood. Oh, California. Okay. Oh, you guys, I'll let you guys know. We're based in New York. And we yeah, do B&H as all our products. Oh, yeah. oh, oh B&H, have you guys? Oh, I'm yeah. orders over there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be in their showroom yeah. probably beginning of next month. Okay. We'll actually have gear in the showroom finally. Oh, okay. So, so we can... We'll have all the lightweight heads in there. Oh, okay. good. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Yeah, so, Thanks. Uh, Oh, I'm a Seagate guy. I have like 40 of them. I have 28 terabytes.
card. Right. Hello, Seagate, Seagate, right? Thank you. Are you guys the Seagate company, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah, I have 20, I have 28 terabytes drives. I, I've done, all I use the Seagate for the past like 10 years. Because so much of them, I have 28 terabytes. I have, I have, in all, I have like 50. But I'm talking about the 8 terabyte. That's the yeah. one I use now. You know the yeah. one that's 8 terabytes? Yeah. Well, we make them in all sizes. Yeah. I just stick with the 8 terabytes for the past. So I have like a, so much data I have. We just announced the 24 terabyte drive. Wow. Uh -huh. Soon we'll have 30. Wow. Okay, so much recording I do. It's like, you know, we, we store, I'm talking about. And this thing here is a, a RAID array of, I think it's got eight SSDs in it. It's 122 terabytes of SSD. That's like for storing. Yeah. You know, I'm going to turn it this way. I'm not live. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not live. Yeah. You can store like your dailies or other like large content. Yeah. On it, and then you can pick it up, put it in that case. Ship it to us, and we'll upload the data to the cloud. Oh, yeah, because definitely you can upload all right, of that. Because yeah. the data is so big, it won't fit over the. Or you can put it, have one of these in your data center and yeah. plug it in, right? Because what happened is like, it's like no matter how much data I buy, I just run out of data. I run out of storage, I'm talking about. Because I'm like, I'm shooting like, like sometimes like four terabytes a month, minimum. Right? Four terabytes a month. Minimum. Right, uh, sometimes. And you're keeping that all on drive. Yeah, I'm just buying these eight terabytes and just storing it. Because I do have two, I, I film the three public television shows. I film and edit it. Oh. First, I do fresh uh, events, I uh, event by, right? Right. So, not only I'm in charge of my data, but when I film things for other people, I have to keep it. Yep. And in New York, you're technically you're supposed to keep your data for six years before you delete it. Right. It's, that's the law. Like if somebody pay you to film a wedding or something, you supposed to keep that for like six years. Do you use any other kind of like cloud storage? Do you use huh? anything like a Dropbox well, or anything like no, that? No, what the, the, the buying the storage is Google Drive, right? I do buy storage in Google Drive, well, but I mean, it's, it's like, like whether you're buying the drive, you have to have the drive itself. Yeah. But if you put it in the cloud, it's pretty safe. Yeah. In the cloud. It's very it's expensive right now. Yeah, it's just as expensive, right? And then it's, it's costly right now, and then it's, it's not as costly. Some are less costly, like we're less costly. Yeah. Some of them charge you like put a pull it out. Yeah. Most everyone does. You can store it up there, and if you want to read it, every time a bit goes by, you got to pay the pay the charge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So with Seagate, do you have to pay? Uh, you only pay for the storage. Only oh, storage. Oh, okay, okay. So it's uh, it's like seven dollars, seven fifty for a terabyte every month. So if you had a terabyte yeah. stored for the year, would be you know eighty bucks. Oh, okay. And that's cheaper than a drive. But if you got 10 80, terabytes... 80 bucks a month. Then that's like, <laughs> like $70, I guess. Yeah. Because I, I, I probably have... The more the backup drives I have, I have hundreds of terabytes by now. I have like at least... Yeah, a few hundred. Because I, I, have, I have a thing with like 50 drives. So how do you... Do you just have a label on them when you say... Yeah, because what I do, right? Everybody asks me that. How do you go back and get the footage? So I'm an event guy, I do events, right? Yeah. So when it's fashion week, all these parades on this, right? Sometimes I have people help me the ones who are the runner on class on their leg. So what I go is by dates. By dates? I, I had people who, st who, who st steal my footage once, and after that, I don't just like name it like this. Because like if, since, like, I'm just telling you, people are scamming. Since then we had to trust somebody to go in your data, yeah. and they see New York Fashion Week, so on so on so on this date. They may go and try to take that copy, right. even if they're working with you. Right. So I figure out, I have the date. So for instance, Fashion Week is one date every year. So if I say the 12th of September, right. if I say 12th of September, I know that when I go and look for Fashion Week, yeah. it's the 12th of September. If I know somebody get married on that day, I'm like, when did that happen? And I go by the and date. And day. only so many things I can record in one day. Right. How many days you can record in a day? Right. right? So it's only so much you have to go through. I probably can record like four events a day. I have to go through four events. It's not so hard once you break it down by date. Right. And then after that, you're like, okay, what day, What time? So somebody come back to me years later and say, look, I wanted that footage you filmed for me. I know six years in past, I legally have to find it for them. Could yeah. they pay me? Because that's right. New York State. You have to legally find it, right? I, I know I could go back and say, and I just go back, go back for the dates, get my stuff. That's my little thing. <laughs>
Yeah. No, but that's what they ask. people ask me at all the time. How do you find all that data you have? How do you find? I'm like, dates. Well, even if it's not in the head, it's just the dates. You just go in the calendar and no, find out what date that was. Yeah. What was happening on a date? Yeah. There was a wedding or a party or yep. something or some other event like this that yep. you do. Yeah, literally, I do this today, 10 years from now, I'll, I'll just have to go and look up what date did they have this at, and I know today, probably three events I'm recording today, and I'll find it. All right, thank you. All right. Okay, so. and they'll all start watching linear TV again, we, would, we wouldn't be here, we would be retired on some island. Um, and so I don't think it's quite that simple. I think there's a few things. I think platforms emerge for audiences based on how they want to consume, and I think Fast is a place where younger audiences are. For our Telemundo stations, they, the, the linear audience is young. It is 1849. So there's not as much competition in Spanish language, and so the, the, the dynamics are different for different um, demographics and you have to think that through and, and one of the things that we've had to sort of open our minds to is you got to be okay that maybe they're gonna watch you on YouTube because it's either watch you on YouTube or don't watch you at all and then at the point that they start watching when they're when they great when they have kids and Megan's done this story really, I've studied many times when they have kids and they buy a house and they're getting a little older they're gonna they're gonna watch you more regularly and they're gonna they're not you know some people aren't gonna be going to work you know we live, we live in a world of like everybody's always got a tv in their office so we always have most people don't Not too bad. We're just checking um, the file storage. We do file storage and we do block storage. Oh, okay. We've been around about 25 years. Uh, AMC networks, NFL films, you know, big data users. We also do a lot of work in DVS, airports, hospitals, prisons, where somebody's got 2,800 cameras and they have to record all that video and then store it for 90 days or whatever the SLA is. So we've got a couple of specials that we're running now. In our portfolio, these are our block storages, our Beast and our E series. This is our NAS storage, or unified storage. That can either be SSD or spinning. And then we've got our ransomware proof Jurion. The ransomware proof of Jurion was originally built for HIPAA and SIP compliant. Now, when you put data in, two copies are made, it gets one locked down, hashtag, and has an audit trail. So, for example, oh, or if you are a Holocaust Museum, for example, and you can't lose a file, you put all your data in the jury. If you get hacked and go down, you can recover all your data from that jury because it's ransomware. So it, it stores in like two, when you say it stores in like two different files? Yeah, in other words, when a file comes in, it will timestamp it, uh, print it, fingerprint it, encrypt it. Now you have two copies. Every 90 days, there'll be a heartbeat. A heartbeat will say, the file was created on this date. It was opened up five times uh, by this person. You denied access. So when you go to court, that's a, a problem. Same thing when it comes to ransomware. If you get hit with ransomware and your servers and your backups are no good, you can just go to the insurance and recover from the stubs. Because there's no access to get into it. And what do you do? I do, I do work on television, so I have a TV show I produce oh, okay. every week. There's more events in New York. There's more events on public television in New York. Sure. 
So I'm always filming, like, you know, filming. I, I, I just on a short notice here, so I was able to do, but I usually come to, like, interview people at the Java Center. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, I'm like, like, we do an episode on this. Usually. Yeah. But um, today I'm just going around, just getting information for myself. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, if you get a scan on you, you never know, you might win the prize. Yeah. Yeah, I might come back, um, but it's like, I'm going to take kind of tight schedule today. Okay. But we do, we do. You come to the Java Center and cover, thank you. You come to the Java Center and cover the events here all the time. But there are so many events here. Oh, yeah. Are you based in New York? What? Oh, you live in New York? Uh, Jersey. Got an office okay. in New York, but I live in Jersey. Okay, okay. So, yeah, this is like a place we always at. Yeah? Yeah. It never runs out of public television. <laughs> So much thing, so much, so much thing to film. Yes. Uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Technically, I was here already. I'm making a circle round. Why, Mister? Why did I make that circle round? Because I was talking to someone, and I lost track on that thing. So the next one is supposed to be over. I didn't think over on the other one. It's impossible to do all. So I'm trying to I'm trying to see if I can do but I I need to cut short and go and check out my um, I need to cut short and go and check out Panasonic and then come back. I were on the next loop already. Go and check out the Panasonic and then come back. Let's see what Panasonic have to offer.
Thank you. Let's do a Panasonic drink. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, that's right there. Thank you. Yeah. You know what? Uh, what it's, it's, actually, it's, on, uh, it's a DVX 200. Yeah, it's a DVX. What Holy happened is that? It's an older one, you know. You know. DVX 200, look at that. I literally came because I have a little... I wanted to see that because I took it off. Let me take it off. Oh, I agree. Yeah. You guys just going to lick it? Oh yeah, I have to take this off for a second. I have to take this off. You got to take this off. Oh, I put a lot of things on top. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to take off a couple things. Yes, it's it. I'm going to hop with my crutches. I'll drop that one. I'll drop that one. Oh yeah, thank you. I'm just hopping like this, but today I'm just like sitting, I'm sitting on this thing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so I have a little issue with my DVX 200. I wanted to ask a Panasonic high-end guy, but that's why I can't. Thank you. Thank you. Turn this one on. Okay, thank you. The nice thing about a DBX 200 is that it takes good, you can take good pictures of your video. That's the best, one of the best things about the DBX 200. Right? It's the what now? The video. Yeah, you can yeah. take really good pictures because of the high resolution. Yeah. But I had a, if I had a technical guy here, I wanted to check. I had a little issue with my, I had a workhorse. I did fashion leak stuff many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I had to go back to Canon because all of a sudden the manual button's not running. My manual, um, not the manual, when I go into the... Can I see that? Can I go in here? See? I'm not getting selection. So I literally... Yeah, so I literally is wondering, thinking about, okay, is it like... Does it have a different option? If you have a tech guy here, or... If it's only one button? Or is it only one button? Yeah, that's a big button too, and it sounds like you hit that button a lot. So. Yeah, it could be that. Wait one second, let me get a new All right, thank you. Okay, thank you. Clearly out of warranty. 
Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. But what happened? The warranty you run out in May. And this is and this happened in September. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, literally, my warranty, I had a, I had a warranty from Canon. And you know, recently Canon on um, the Panasonic. Panasonic, sorry. I had a four-year four, four warranty, I believe, when I bought it. I bought it from B&H. Oh. Right? And um, so what happened is that this little issue here, I have, it just started happening in September. And I, I do everything manual. So, you know, I'm not able to select with this. And it's, there's no other way to do it. Are you familiar with this? With this one? Um, I mean, I cannot do magic if it does so. Yeah, no, no. no the, so, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the phone number. Of, uh, and what you do is you call the service department and, uh, give, and they're going to give you an RMA number. And then you'll send it to them, they'll repair it, and then they'll send it back to you. Shouldn't be that much. Uh, yeah. But if, out of warranty, you know, and you bought the, you had it covered for four years. Yeah, so it's we just did everything the, we could. But like, that sucks that it happened right at the end. Right in the end. Yeah. I got a little paint. I was not even that the truth on paint on it, but I'm like, yeah. I was surprised that um, they totally discontinued, and they have no other versions. Oh, uh, uh, I have a more to submit media. I mean. I was looking for like if they were to do a, um, another, no, another version of this, but there's no version. I was crossing my fingers on another version of this camera. So I wrote this down, but you have my email address. Just email me. I can send it to you if you, if you did, but it's, it's 855-PSC-TECH. So that's Panasonic System Communications Tech. So what I do, I think, is set up a... You're going to call like, them and tell them what's going on. Yeah. They're going to say, all right, here's your RMA number, and they're going to say, yes. they're going to say, send this in to us, and you're going to send it into them, they're going to repair it, and then they're going to send it back to you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No, no, thank you, man. And I, uh, we used to repair them here, but now they do it, and you have to ship, ship them out. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because that was a friend of mine who told me to come here. Thank you. Because cool. I usually do the other event. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you, and that's my number, so whatever you need. Uh, okay, thank you. You got it. Alright, so I got the answer I was looking for. It's not very good. Somebody told me they used to they used to do it, they're not doing it anymore. Oh yeah, thank you. So I got the main answer I was looking for. I'm gonna cut this. I'm not gonna upload this wrong. Damn man. Back. Start writing. 